It's the bath. That's the bedroom next to it. Sign it or lose it. Big call for places this sweet. Kevin? That I can fix. What happened here? Looks like blood. My God. Anything? Just a bunch of unopened bottles and a sealed can of formula. Bathroom? Broken mirror, blood on glass shards, blood trail leading into the bedroom in the crib. Bag the shards and dust the crib. Thanks. How long did the belt trans live here? I signed at least a couple of months before she popped. Maybe it was a month or two old when they took off. Any idea where? Nah, they're from upstate somewheres. It's on the rental application. And how about where they work? That's on the application, too. When did you first notice they were gone? When I first noticed, I hadn't heard them screaming at each other in a couple of days. And yeah, when was that? A uh, landlord calls me last week, right? Says they missed two rent payments. So I knocked on the door, nothing. I phone, it's disconnected. And when did you last see them? Well, her, I don't know. But him, he came out the front door a month ago. He had a suitcase so big, you could put a desk in it. Or a body. I don't know where she is. Why don't you ask her husband? They split up. Well, no surprise there. Oh, really? Yeah, he'd yell at her for being immature, said she couldn't handle herself, let alone a baby. You two sound pretty close. You part of the reason why she left her husband? Oh, man. I got a girlfriend in Philly I see every weekend. I sure as hell don't need Amy's husband showing up with a baby looking for her. Jimmy has the baby? Yeah, that's what she told me. To kicked her out, took the kid. So you've talked to her in the last six weeks? No. Kyle and Amy Belton have been missing for six or seven weeks, so you had to have talked to her after Jimmy took the baby and threw her out. She showed up one day a while back for a coffee. I didn't mark it on my calendar. She tell you where she was staying? No. You haven't talked to her since then? No. You know, if you're a part of this and there's something wrong with Amy or the baby, you're an accessory, Mitch. You can go to jail. I don't know anything. How many of these you done? Stakeouts? No, dead babies. Hey, we don't know the baby's dead. Right. To answer your question, too many. It's my first. That's too many. Yeah. At least we know he has a hobby. <laughs> and a place to enjoy it. Hey, look at this. Tampons. Pretty big for Q-tips. You guys are harassing me. <laughs> Not yet. Is Amy Beltran here? No, man, I told you. Yeah, but we got miffed when it wasn't true. What are these for? To hang on the Christmas tree? My sister's staying here. Your sister? I'd love to meet her. You guys got a warrant? Because we're done. Did you just hear a baby cry? Clear as day. What baby? There's no baby here. Where's your baby? He's with Jimmy. Jimmy. He took my baby. I don't know where. You don't know where? Why'd you call his parents home asking for him? I figured Jimmy would go there. With your baby? The baby his parents said you had? Yes. I, I don't know. Why would Jimmy say you had your son? I don't know. He was angry. What happened between you and Jimmy? We just didn't get along is all. What about the blood in the apartment? I don't... No, I just left. Why'd you tell Jimmy's father Kyle was fine? I thought he was. I always thought he was. She said she'd feel trapped being with a baby all day. What about after the baby was born? She left it sometimes. Left the baby alone? Sometimes, when the baby was taking a nap, she'd slip out, grab a cup of coffee or smoke with me. It wasn't more than half hour, 45 minutes. Did Amy ever tell you how she felt about the baby? She said it was hard, confusing. Did you ever see her with Kyle? Went to her place once. Baby was in the crib. He was crying. And what happened? Nothing. She turned up the volume on the TV. Hey, Ed. Dig it up. Right. We didn't know. I swear on the Virgin Mary, we didn't know. Cause of death? 
At first glance, it looks like the baby was more than likely put in the bag and buried alive. Looks like skin and bones. What did he die of? Hard to tell. Asphyxiation, dehydration, exposure. I won't know until I do the autopsy. I came home one night, and I didn't hear anything, you know? Not crying or anything. And where was Amy? She was sitting on the couch, smoking a cigarette. What did you do? I asked her if Kyle was asleep. She didn't answer, so I went inside to look. Kyle was in his crib. <laughs> Dead. Then what happened? I guess she must have followed me into the room. So I just asked her again what happened when she didn't answer again. I slapped her. She started bleeding. Amy never wanted that baby, did she? You were the one who insisted that she have it, weren't you? Yes. Only once she did, you were never around. Amy was the one getting up in the middle of the night, right? I was working. Working? You mean you were too busy to feed your own child? That's not what I said. When you came home and found your baby dead, did you call the police? No. No. Instead, you wrapped your child in a blanket, and then you stuck it in your tool bag. The medical examiner has said that anyone looking at your baby could see that it was in trouble. Could you? I called that counselor. And did you follow up? Amy said everything was fine. But you knew that it wasn't, didn't you? There was formula in that apartment. There were bottles. Everything to feed your son, Mr. Beltran? Amy said we weren't supposed to. Everything to bring your son to a doctor. Amy did. But did you? No. But she's the one on trial. At the hospital, I promised I would only breastfeed. Miss Strickland said that breast milk was best for Kyle. She made it sound like giving him a bottle might be dangerous. Well, what did you do? I took Kyle to a Medicaid clinic. The nurse said that he was normal size and everything, but she told me I couldn't see a doctor. I didn't have my Medicaid card yet. She told me that I should come back in about three weeks, but by then. Miss Strickland says that you came to see her too. Yes. And what happened at that visit? She started in again about breast milk being best for Kyle and that if there was a problem, it was because I wasn't trying hard enough. Ms. Strickland has also testified that sometime afterwards she called you and you told her everything was fine. She'd made it seem like it was my fault, you know? Like I was a bad mother. I just, I wasn't going to go through that again. His little hands, they were so cold. I, I got a blanket to wrap him, and um, that's when I realized he wasn't breathing. What did you do? There was nothing I could do. I was just so scared, and Jimmy was so angry. He told me he never wanted to see me again. He slapped me. Then he said that we had to get rid of him, rid of Kyle. Why? Because we didn't have money for lawyers. He said that we'd get in a lot of trouble. He said he'd take Kyle to his parents' house. Mitch Polachek testified that you told him you wish you had never gotten pregnant. That's the way I, I felt before he was born. But you continued to feel that way even after you had him, didn't you? No. That's the way you felt even as you watched him starve to death. Objection. No. Even as you watched your husband put his tiny, lifeless body into that bag. Your Honor. I All tried. Right. Is that why you turned up the volume on the television when you heard your baby cry? Because you were trying? I needed help. You had help. I didn't. The hospital gave you formula, but you didn't use it. I told you why.
Even when you were turned away from the clinic, you didn't seek any other medical help, did you? The nurse said he was okay. You just wanted your baby dead. I didn't know what to do. I swear I didn't know. 